Super 1600 and all four mini final here at Lydon Hill. And well, as you can see, it is a phenomenal start then from the, the two minis as they head down in towards Chess and Drift. Three, three cars then heading off into the Joker here as well. And well, a very, very interesting start to say the very least then as we head up in towards that devil's elbow for the very first time. And it is indeed Martin Hawks who leads the way in P1. Uh, and then we have got that number 24 of Craig Lomax just in behind and actually will try and make a potential move then up the hill we go. And there it is, move for the lead of this race. Nice bit of work there, wouldn't have lost too much time as well, so not really too much to be worried about in terms of the three drivers that have and indeed already gone through the Joker. Uh, so as we head down the hill, Darren Scott is in P3 as it stands. Across the line they will indeed go. And will any of the front two decide to go through the Joker? No, they don't. So it is going to be indeed still the lead then for Craig Lomax. Good stuff to him. It's all about really now just stretching those legs. It's only a four lap race here for the final. And as we come then through the Devil's Elbow, up the hill once again. You can see in the background then, Darren Scott is closing in at a rate of knots. Darren Scott is absolutely flying here. Uh, then we've got in the background, Turner. And then we've got Phil Chicken as well. So that is P4 and P5. Phil Chicken there right at the back end. And Scott then is going to come through. Is there an issue then for Martin Hawks? Martin Hawks looks like he was going very, very slow there. But as you can see... Oh, there is a big issue there. That is not good then for Craig Lomax. He is completely uh, at a standstill. Will indeed go through the Joker with Hawks, but unfortunately not going to work out. Darren Scott then, who took the Joker, lap number one, is looking very strong here on lap three. And as they all come out through Chesson's Drift into the merge, into the Dover slope, it looks like uh, whatever issue both drivers were having is kind of gone. Uh, although, no, actually, <laughs> that, that's wrong. Yeah, Craig Lomax is very slow. No, he stopped. So he's completely stopped there. And that's so unfortunate. You can could, you could just tell by the body language there, the frustration. Hugely frustrated there. Going to be absolutely gutted. Was in a great position. Was leading the race. But ultimately, it has all come undone at the seams. So through then that final game, we head on to the final lap of today's race. Darren Scott then in the lead. Can't take anything away from him. He's been absolutely brilliant in this race. Took the joker early, got clear air, worked with it, managed to get up into the lead, and now has quite a considerable margin on Adrian Turner. Turner then in P2. Phil Chicken is in P3. And then Hawks, who looked quick, was right at the front at the start of this race as well. It's down in P4. As we come then towards the final couple of corners of this race, Darren Scott with the strategy call early in this race. It's made a huge difference. The checkered flag is out, and that is going to be a victory then for Darren Scott. Congratulations to him. Superb drive from him. As Turner is about to come across the line then in second position, first of the two minis. Congratulations then to Turner. And then we will indeed have Phil Chicken in P3 and then Hawks in P4.